we got a question from Alexander about treating depression with jujitsu. So he says, do you think that jujitsu would be helpful in treating depression even for someone who's already taken antidepressants? And if so, how do you deal with the lack of motivation? Because you know, depression is often associated with you know losing the motivation to do things that you were even passionate about before. And so that was his email that he sent in to me. So brother, thank you so much for the question. And I want to share a couple books with you first that I read recently. I'll put the links down below if you guys are interested in picking them up. But the books are Go Wild and then Spark. Now they were both written or co-written by John Rady. And John Rady is a psychologist who back in the day he was prescribing like exercise to people along with medications who were depressed. And he was doing it before it was like a thing because they've done so many studies now to show that exercise is a fairly viable way to either treat or assist with treatment uh, in relation to depression. But he just noticed this positive benefit from people exercising regularly and the way they felt with their depression, among other things. And so he started telling people, you need to exercise. And so in the books he talks about you know exercise and its beneficial properties and one of the reasons why they think exercise is so beneficial to us as humans not just on like a physical like you know fitness level but like mentally is because our brains are so big in part again this is the theory because we move so much. We have so many complex movements that we can perform that the brain has to be big enough to, to deal with this. Like when they you know put scans on people's brains while they're doing complex tasks and movements the brain just lights up. And they sort of looked at other creatures, uh, you know, on, on this planet, and some of them who have very like sedentary lifestyles or don't have complex movements, their brains are tiny. But the more movement capacity that they have, their brains just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so they think one, they think one of the reasons why our brains are so big is because we were designed to move. And one of the reasons why our bodies get so much benefit from exercise, not just physically but mentally is the fact that we were designed to move. We weren't designed to be sedentary. We were, we were designed to get up and exercise and, and do all kinds of stuff with our bodies, right? You're supposed to, do, you're supposed to do stuff with your body. It's not, your body was not meant to be a vegetable sitting around playing video games, watching TV and sitting at a desk. You're designed to get up and do things. And so this is why exercise is so beneficial. They took a study where, I think it was like a 10 month study or something, but it was, they talk about it in the book, so you can check that out if you want to. But they took a control group and they compared it with a group that were, these people were all depressed. They compared it with people that were using just a medication, antidepressant. They did antidepressants plus exercise, and then they did, did just exercise. And they found that people who did exercise and the people that did the exercise and the antidepressant, they beat everybody else. And the exercise group with the antidepressant group was on par. So as long as they were exercising, it was a comparable benefit. So obviously, exercise is a good idea if you're depressed, even if it's not jujitsu something else. But the neat thing about Jiu Jitsu is that you're combining not just physical exercise but you're combining learning complex movements. So it's this physical and mental challenge that you're constantly bombarded with and so it just floods the body with all these positive brain chemicals and, and chemicals in your body. So it's, it can be a good thing. Now as far as my experience goes personally, not from a book, I have had lots of students come in who were depressed, dealt with anxiety, maybe had PTSD and they were taking medication. And as they got into Jiu Jitsu, they slowly began to wean themselves off of it because Jiu Jitsu ended up becoming their medicine because when they would come into Jiu Jitsu, they felt less of a need to use the medication. You know, I, I actually I talked to a guy when I was at a seminar down in Florida just this past week and he says that Jiu Jitsu like allows him to escape from his PTSD. You know, and it's really interesting. And so it can be a useful medication, if you will, by going in and exercising and doing Jiu Jitsu. And I've seen them wean themselves off of it. So it could be beneficial, it could work for you. Now, the thing about motivation, you asked about like, you know, what if you're not motivated? The thing is, dude, there has to be something in your life that you're not motivated to do, but you do it anyway, right? I, I imagine you probably have a job, right? Like, I don't know about you, even this job, I love this job, right? But there's things about this business that I don't always like doing. Like, me and my buddy Joe were talking about this. People probably think we sit around and just work out and do nothing. There's a lot of things with the business that we don't necessarily wanna do, but we do them because we want the benefits. I wanna be able to keep the lights on. I wanna be able to get new mats for the guys to train on. I wanna be able to sponsor people for tournaments. And you know, back when I had a job I absolutely hated, I would go to work anyway because I wanted the money that they were gonna give me so I could buy things I wanted go compete in jiu-jitsu tournaments, whatever. And so I'm sure there's things that you do in your life that you don't necessarily wanna do, but you do them anyway because you want the benefit. Exercise can be that way sometimes because there's times I definitely don't wanna work out. There's times where I feel slightly depressed. I mean like, 
there's months, you know, throughout my life where I've been, I think, in a funk. And the only thing that kind of keeps me going is I go exercise because it makes me feel better for a little bit of time. And so there's times where I don't want to train, I don't want to do jujitsu, I don't want to lift weights, I don't want to do anything. But I get up and I do it anyway because I know I'll feel better afterwards and I want that benefit from it. And so with you, with your training, it can't be based upon motivation. It can't be based off of a feeling because it comes and goes. I'm not telling you anything you haven't heard on the internet before or seen in some motivational quote. But again, it's true. You have to base it upon discipline. That has to be the foundation that you approach this thing with. It has to be that you want the benefits from it. And again, man, you only get one life to live, right? Think about that. You get one life to live and then it's gone. So why waste it by allowing yourself to be just pulled down this road? Just make a habit and just do it. Again, because you know that if you get in the gym and you're surrounded by people, you get your exercise in, you're probably going to feel better. You know, and I'm just starting to ramble at this point. So look, give training a try. I'm not saying it's going to do everything, but it might be helpful to you as it has been for a lot of my students. And as far as motivation goes, let the motivation go, man. It has to be discipline. It has to be the thing that drives you. You have to get in there and just train consistently over and over and over again. Not because of how you feel about it that day, but because of the benefit you want. If you go to the doctor and they tell you they're about to jam a big old needle in your butt, but it's going to make you feel better, you don't want to be poked by the needle. You don't want to be, you know, you don't want that to happen, but at the same time, you want to feel better, so you go along with it. You may not enjoy the discomfort of training sometimes. You may not enjoy the drive that you have to do to the gym. You may not enjoy something about it, but at the same time, the benefit will outweigh the the discomfort that you have to do to get to it. So, brother, thank you so much for the question. Good luck with the depression and uh, guys, I'll talk to you next time. 